guys welcome to another video in today's video i'm going to be installing and reviewing a program called blockstrap what is blockstrap blockstrap is a bootstrapper for roblox it has essential features for you a simplified ui as well and i've used it and i really like it and i've chatted with the developer of blockstrap for an issue and he's on a fix for some of them and he's actually a very nice person so I'm going to be showing you guys steps on how to get Blockstrap and in the end of the video I'm going to have a mini Q&A that I would like to answer in case so you don't have to comment it in the comment section below. And I'll leave the appropriate links in the description and possibly the pinned comment below. So without further ado, let's get started. So before you install Blockstrap, you would want to install the .NET 6.0 desktop runtime mainly the 6.0.14 version for 64. Uh, I will leave a link to this in the description below. Um, you don't have to install this right away. Uh, if you run Blockstrap, it will tell you to install this anyways if you don't have it, but I would recommend installing this before you install Blockstrap. Okay, now that you have installed .NET Desktop Runtime 6.0.14, you want to install the latest version of Blockstrap but the latest version of Blockstrap right now is Blockstrap V2.0. I will leave a link to the repository and the latest release in the description below so you can download the latest release. And uh, yeah, so the latest release is, like I said, Blockstrap V2.0. I will not be installing the EXE because I already have it installed, but if you haven't had it installed, you can install the Blockstrap V2.0 64-bit EXE. And I'll be showing you how it looks like after you install it and you run it. So once you install Blockstrap, the first thing that would show up is the Blockstrap menu. And this is how the menu looks like. Um, you would see that I have the save button right here. If you don't have Blockstrap installed and this is your first time, it would say install. But it's the same thing, it's the same menu even when you install it already. So the first tab would be integrations. This is the easiest way to improve Roblox's gameplay. So the first one would be Discord Rich Presence, which would show the game activity and it will allow you to join other users with the game activity. I will be having a screenshot on screen right now on how it looks like. And the game activity would show you the game that you play, you're playing, who is made by, and the see details button, which would direct you to the game link directly. And there would be the allow joining, which if you press join, anyone can join you in your game with launch data. I've not tested this out to see if it will let anyone join you even if you have your joins off, but I would recommend just turning this off right away. If you want a shader for Roblox, you can enable reshade to launch automatically when Roblox launches as well. You can modify its folder, get more information about it, and set its presets. Next up is FPS unlocking. You can enable Austin's RBX FPS unlocker and it will remove Roblox's 60 FPS cap and it will launch automatically when you launch Roblox as well. And you can also set it so it would automatically close when you close Roblox as well. Next up is something that I also really like but I haven't had any programs that I want to use with it, which is custom integrations. Basically, you can have any other program launch automatically when you launch Roblox as well, like how Austin's RBX FPS Unlocker does. So all you have to do is just press new, change the name of it in case you want to know the application that it is, and then put in the application location, and that would be it. And you can also make it so it automatically closes when Roblox closes as well. Next up is the mods folder or the mods tab, mods menu. Here you can open your mods folder that you can add custom mods and you can help on managing and creating mods as well. And also with the presets, this is something that I believe a lot of people would like to use as well, is you can add the old Roblox that sound, the Oof. sound effect. You can also use the old mouse cursor, the pre-2022 style, which I will show on screen right now on how it looks like. This is the hover version of it. And you can also disable the desktop app altogether as well. Next up is appearance. And this is self-explanatory. It just shows how Blockstrap looks like and the style and the icon of Blockstrap. Next up is the behavior. You can create a desktop icon, which would place the Blockstrap icon on your desktop and launches the next time Roblox does as well. Automatically update Blockstrap, which I would leave this enabled. Allow multi-game instance launching, which will make Roblox 
have more than one game open simultaneously. I haven't tested this out, but this is a really cool feature. And prompt on Roblox voice channel change. I would recommend having this on just because this would basically make it so Blockstrap would follow Roblox's mandates, basically what Roblox wants. So you won't get banned for it. The last thing is installation. This is when you first install Blockstrap. I would recommend you choose a file location on the way you want Blockstrap to launch to. And if you want to install mods or something on there or open the logs, you can just press open folder and that would automatically open where Blockstrap was launched to. This is just a channel of the installation. Yours would probably be the live version because you're downloading it on the GitHub. I have the debug version because I have a glitch and the developer sent me this so I can help him with it. If this is your first time launching Blockstrap, like I said, just press install right here and it'll configure and get it done for you. You can also check the about section to see everything and all the licenses and integrations that Blockstrap has used. And um, yeah, so lastly will be the Q&A questions. Um, the first one would be, will you get banned for using Blockstrap? The simplified answer would be no, because Blockstrap does not configure or modify the Roblox client itself, it just configures the launcher, so it just changes how Roblox launches, but it does work normally. It's like a Roblox launcher, but on steroids, basically. The second one is, what available platforms is Blockstrap on? Blockstrap is only on Windows PC currently, and I believe that you can use Blockstrap as far back as Windows 7 or Vista, but I'm not 100% sure. That's just how far that they've tested it. But this is a PC, Windows PC only application. The third question would be, what if I don't want to use Blockstrap anymore and I want to go back to the old launcher? All you have to do is just uninstall Blockstrap and that is it. Just uninstall Blockstrap on the control panel or you can uninstall Blockstrap on the apps and features section on your Windows settings. The last question would be, what if a new Roblox version releases and a Blockstrap is not the launcher anymore or what if i accidentally open the roblox player launcher and it overwrites the block the block strap launcher all you need to do is just go to the block shop folder and launch the exe or the block shop menu and it'll automatically reapply the settings to roblox and change and configure its launcher that is it for this video on block strap i really love the block strap and recommend you guys use it if you want to make things easier for you, like I said earlier with the features and reviewing it, to add like reshade and Roblox FPS unlocker to simplify your experience. And the developer is very nice. I recommend you guys support them. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Although I would mainly recommend you to leave your questions in the GitHub issues page, which I will leave a link to that in the description and in the comment section as well, as that is where the developers and the contributors to the Blockstrap project will reply to you with your appropriate answer. Also, if you have bugs and issues, you can report it there as well, and he will respond to you there. That's it from me, and I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I hope you guys enjoy Blockstrap, and I hope Blockstrap has made your experience way better. Also, Blockstrap is not sponsoring this video, I just made this because I love the project and I support it. Again, thank you guys for watching the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.